China has just drawn a bold line in the lunar dust. Its officials confirmed that the nation is on track to land astronauts on the moon by the year 2030. And they're not just talking, they're building the capability to do it. This announcement came as the Shinjo 21 mission launched to the Tiangong space station, carrying three astronauts and live biological experiments. It wasn't just another flight. It was proof China can operate sustained, crewed missions in space. That's one of the last stepping stones before attempting something much bigger, like landing on the moon. But this isn't just about rockets and landers. It's a signal. China wants to be seen as a dominant force in space. And with NASA's Artemis program aiming for a crewed lunar landing as early as 2026, the race is officially back on. Why does it matter? Because whoever leads in space sets the tone for future exploration, resource claims, and even international law beyond Earth. China's moon plan isn't about beating the U.S. It's about showing the world that space is no longer a one-nation domain. They're investing in rockets, landers, and even permanent lunar infrastructure. If they make it to the moon first this decade, it will redefine the balance of global space leadership. So buckle up. The moon is no longer just history. It's the next finish line. Like and subscribe if you're tracking the new space race, because this time, it's global.